Now, in today's video, I'm showing you specifically step by step how women will purposefully make men feel inadequate in order to get a good read on your interest level, as well as test your market value and how you stack up in the dating game against other men. These specific tests of inadequacy are specifically designed so that way she can actually decide for herself if she wants to continue seeing you or not. Now, she is going to oftentimes make you feel inadequate on purpose, and I'm going to show you exactly how to spot this and how to get around it by the end of the video. Now, after today's video is over, go down below, click the link in the description and check out the full length MBT masculine behavioral technique end to end webinar presentation that I made for you because over the years I have crafted an exact process that thousands of men are using. Thousands of men are copy pasting into their dating lives and they are getting results at a far quicker pace. They are actually having a dating life of abundance. They are actually getting girlfriends in real life and they are actually finally living a life of fulfillment because they have a process and because they have a system that gives them control over their dating life and the results that they want to get and the results that they can actually achieve instead of leaving it up to chance. For once, you need to know what it feels like to be the chooser, not just the guy sitting back waiting to be chosen. And because of that, I put together a totally free presentation for you below. So check that out once this video is over. Now, this is exactly step by step how women make men feel inadequate to test your sexual market value. Very important video that we have to dissect. Now, jumping into this, here's what you have to know. The games never end. End. Okay, the games seriously never end. When you are dating a woman, most guys think that when they finally get the girlfriend of their dreams or they finally get a wife, that it's all going to be amazing. And this is very bad thinking because this is false. This is not how real life works and this is not how life operates at all. The games have only just begun. So here's what you have to know it is far harder to keep a woman's interest than it is to attract a woman in the first place. The main reason is because hypergamy is always on and it is always screening you. So here's what you have to know, or here's kind of the lens that I operate the world through when I'm living in my own dating life as well. I tell myself, Hey, if her eyes are open and she's awake, okay, she is testing you and she is analyzing your sexual market value. She can't help this. This is just something that's going on. It just happens. Okay. This is mother nature. So the next thing that I tell myself is if her mouth is moving and words are coming out, she is also analyzing my market value because every single sentence in some way, shape or form is going to be a test in and of itself to test what your value is. She's seeing how your vocal tone is when you respond. She's seeing the nuances and the mannerisms in your body language. All of that makes up you. So, what you have to know is hypergamy is always on hypergamy is always testing um, how you handle situations, how you react to uh, her sentences and language patterns, how your body language is, how your vocal communication is, um, if you're confident or not, all of these things make up the games. All of these games are mini and minute tests that you have to pass. And it will never end. So if you're dating a woman, just know that this is what you're signing up for, for the rest of your life. There is no off switch. Now, this is the whole game in a nutshell. When dating, okay, when you're dating or when you're together with a woman, here is the game. Here's what she will do. And here is the game in a nutshell. Okay. She will withhold interest. She will withhold love. She will withhold care or she will withhold affection to see if this impacts your day to day emotional state. She wants to know if you are weak and specifically she wants to know if you have went weak for her, you have went weak for her beauty, you have went weak for her intimacy, or you have went weak for her touch. Okay. If you have went weak for a woman in any way, shape or form, she's going to exit your life because that weakness to her mentally is a liability. Okay. To her mental state, it is going to be a liability because she does not want to deal with you anymore because you have displayed weakness. So if a woman does not do this to you where she's testing you or where she's seeing if withholding interest is going to affect your mental day to day state, if a woman does not do this to you, she's going against her natural intuition or her natural hardwiring to make the relationship better. But what you have to know is naturally women are going to do these things when you're dating. So you might be wondering, well, why, why would a woman go against mother nature's hardwiring of these inadequacy tests? Okay. The reason why is because she knows that it will not be good for the both of you. So some women are able to spot this in themselves. Some women are going to be able to see 
uh, what their natural default intuition is and potentially go against it if she wants to decide for herself that this is not beneficial. This is why when you're dating, you need to properly choose the right companion for yourself as well. So overall, okay, these, these inadequacy tests and trying to make men feel inadequate through withholding interest, care, love, or affection, they have to do this because deep down they are testing for the strongest mate that they can possibly find. Not only that, what they are doing is they are needing to know if his internal fortitude is strong or not. Who he is is who he says he is. And not only that, she wants to see if you pass congruency tests so that way you know who you are and you are who you say you are. Now taking this one step further, she only wants to stay with the best. So here's what I can tell you. If you are getting into a relationship or you are trying to find a girlfriend or you are looking for a girlfriend or you are signing up for a relationship and you're doing these things, okay? What I can tell you is this. If you are looking for comfort or you are looking for emotional care from a woman out of a relationship, you are better off just getting a pet. For some of you, you might want a pet dog. You might want a pet cat. You might want a pet goldfish. You might want, you know, whatever the case may be. And truthfully, I understand that this does sound harsh, but this is the way that the world works. And this is some of the truths that you have to internalize. Now, here's what the inadequacy tests, okay, actually looks like. I'm going to show you a couple different scenarios. And then over here, I'm even going to show you how to get around this. This is what the inadequacy test looks like. The first thing you're going to notice is from time to time, you're going to notice a delayed text message time or a delayed text message response. And oftentimes what women will do on purpose is they will be active on social media. So that way you know that they were aware of certain things on their phone or they were active on their cell phone, but she'll purposely be ignoring your text messages. She wants to know how this is going to impact you. Take this a step further. You're going to notice a shift in tone or a shift in communication. Okay. This shift in tone and this shift in communication verbally is also going to be a shift in text message patterns. So before when she would text you and she would put hello with four or five exclamation marks, now she just puts hey with a period. Okay. She wants you to feel that. She's going to want you to feel the difference. She's going to want you to feel like you're losing her. Now take this a step further. She wants you to feel like you're losing her completely to see how this is going to impact your mental and your emotional state. So long-term relationships, especially if you're living with a woman, you're going to notice some different tests. Okay. Long-term relationships is typically going to be a removal of intimacy. So what you're going to notice, I'll give you some examples. The first thing you're going to notice is there's never a need to see you because you're already there. So let's say you live with a woman, um, and she goes to work and she comes home at five o'clock. You'll notice she'll maybe just pull in the garage. She'll sit in her car for 20 to 30 minutes without coming in the door because she doesn't want to see you. And she'll just sit there on her phone and scroll through social media. This is one of the things you're going to notice. There's no urgency to see you. There's no, no need to see you. There is no need to greet you. There is no need to show love, care, and affection. She's just going to sit out in her car in the garage and act like she has no desire to come into the house. That's one of the things you're going to notice. Another thing that you're going to notice is she will never initiate intimacy or she will never initiate sex. And she wants to do this because she wants to make you feel like you're unattractive. So this is the second thing. The third thing that you're going to notice is she acts like she's too tired or too busy to see you. And then last but not least is disinterest 24 seven. She acts like just being around you is a chore. She's going to act like just the fact that she has to be around you it makes her day worse. And then she's going to exit. This is the typical narrative and the typical flow of relationships. So the only way to overcome this, the only way to overcome this. So, um, the woman has a good attitude around you and that she maintains high interest around you. There's, there is only one way to get around this. And the way to get around this is she needs proof. She needs proof that you are still pre-selected by other women. And that means she needs to see other girls checking you out. If she sees other girls checking you out, this keeps your sexual market value high. The only thing that really can simulate a woman's mind 24 seven to make her have desire for a man is knowing that other women are also interested in you and will happily be in a relationship with you as well. So you have to keep your sexual market value high. You have to go to the gym. You have to work out. You have to try to build a V taper physique. You want to have low body fat. You want to eat healthy. You want to dress really well. You want to occasionally, um, you know, be, a, be 
different from majority of the other guys that she's seeing or that she sees, you know, whether that be at the workplace, whether that be the guys that she sees when she goes out, all of those things matter. So the best relationships that I've seen, here's how the dynamic operates between the man and the woman. The guy still has an active social life. This is the first thing. If you want to keep a relationship stable with one woman, you have to have an active social life. If she met you out at a restaurant or out at some wild social event when you guys first met each other, you need to maintain that social life so it's congruent with who you were in the first place. That's first. The second thing is the guy has to maintain his hobbies away from the girl he's dating. If you like to go fishing, you go fishing. If you like to go skiing, you go skiing. If you go snowmobiling, you still go snowmobiling. You do not change your day-to-day -day tasks to become someone different. The third thing is the man is still able to say no when he does not want to do something. So she says, hey, do you want to go hiking at this trail on Tuesday with me and Susie? If the guy doesn't want to do it, he's still able to say, no, I'm going to pass. Okay, this is the third thing you have to do. You do not just say yes, just to say yes. And last but not least is he creates the space first, okay? He might call her up and say, hey, me and my best friend Frank or me and my best friend Tom, we are going fly fishing for a week in this city, okay? We are going snowmobiling for a week in this city. I'll see you when you get back. This is how you maintain your relationship for months or years is she needs to see that you still have a life outside of the relationship and that the relationship didn't become your life. The second that the relationship becomes your life is the second that she no longer has desire for you. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.